Hey guys, thank you for stopping by to watch another episode here at All I See Is W. Well today I wanted to give you my insights on the EV stock plays, right? Today I'll be covering my analysis on Tesla as well as Ticker Lucid, right? So I will share with you my perspective on why the current prices in these stocks have have taken a downward trajectory and is there value in purchasing these stocks now as uh, potential shareholders of these companies I'll tell you if I had to choose between these two stocks which stocks I would actually uh, consider investing in based on my current analysis of these two companies so let's get started and if you're new to this channel I would really appreciate you hitting the like and subscribing for more related content without you supporters I would not be able to get to where I am today, so I really appreciate the love, support, and just sharing of knowledge uh, with, with uh, this network here. So let's get started. Now, we'll first off talk about uh, Tesla here, right? So I wanted to just quickly show you the, the max trajectory of what we see with Tesla. So we're looking at the entire portfolio here, and as you can see with, with Tesla, I mean, it's gone through basically a bubble, right? I mean, in the early 2020s, you could basically pick up the share price at like $30, $40. And at the high point of the year 2021, it got close all the way up to like $400. Where is Tesla now, right? It's dropped off all the way close to about, it got close to like the sub $100, right? And a lot of long-term holders of Teslas are getting frustrated right now right and the question is whether to hold or sell right that that's all based on your uh your risk tolerance but from my perspective with tesla right now let's say if if you are considering investing in tesla it really depends on your investment strategy right we know that tesla is a high quality company right i mean the car is a high quality electric vehicle company right you're paying for the battery uh, there's lots of supporters. The branding is, is 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 strong, right? However, you know what what goes up at a very fast pace here with Tesla, as you can see, with its growth trajectory from a stock price standpoint, it's it's going down very quickly as well. So the saying, what goes up very fast will go down very fast, right? And what goes down very fast may potentially go back up, right? Uh, however. Let's say if you are, let's say, uh, a long-term or short-term investor, you have to really consider when to, to, to uh, take a stab at Tesla. But let's say if you do believe in the company, right, you can consider dollar cost averaging down. I do think that it, it's definitely uh, a discount right now to, to purchase. But let's say if you're trying to load uh, on the quantity of shares with Tesla, uh, you're just trying to time it, right? I, I would say just hold off for a few months because you don't know whether it will continue to uh, stagger downward with, with Tesla given that it's shot all the way up to like $400 range. So that's my perspective, right? And in terms of volume, Tesla is one of the known stocks where there's just so much attention around it. But I would just uh, remain cautious because of the bubble that Tesla is in right now, right? We know that the company is not going out of business Elon Musk has created a story with this company, and it's not just about the electric vehicle companies, right? He's created SpaceX. He's basically developed an ecosystem for Tesla, and that's why uh, folks really love this company, right? Because you're 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 investing in a high quality type of company. It's just that in 2022, markets have just been bleeding out. Right. And just with any type of small news where the company is not able to uh, deliver on its expectations, it drops. But as you can see, I mean, just with the growth trajectory of Tesla, I mean, you know, living in the Bay Area, you'll just see so many people driving uh, the vehicle. Right. Because so much people love the branding, the story that Elon has told. It's just recent news. It's really been uh, uh, having an impact uh uh, where uh, it's it's dropped down to where it is now right so next up i'll share with you my perspective on another electric vehicle company and that is as you can see here lucid it goes by ticker lcid 
What is so unique about Lucid, right? Well, it's a fairly new company, right? It, it's based out in California. It's a U.S.-based company. In fact, they have about 20 retail uh, uh, on-site locations at this time in, in the United States. And Lucid is a, 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 a huge small-time competitor of Tesla. So it, it's definitely a company that is producing high-quality luxury type of vehicles i mean the lowest base cost is at around the eighty-seven thousand. that goes up all the way up to like a quarter million dollars in car vehicles you don't see too much uh, production with this car at this time however there are lucids on the street uh, as you can see now if you're like in the bay area you'll you'll see some lucid vehicles uh, even when you go into the malls you'll see some dealerships there um, from a share price standpoint right now right uh, i mean about a year ago uh, as you can see here uh it was above the 40 dollar range it was hovering at like 50 dollars in like january or november time frame of of 2021 january 10 2022 it was hovering at the uh mid 40 dollars where the current price is right now it's at six dollars and 36 cents i definitely think that you're buying it on the discount. This company is only going to continue to expand and become a competitor in the electric vehicle space. You know that there's always going to be a niche market for luxury cars, right? So there always will be uh, an audience that that likes luxury type of vehicles. And Lucid is one uh, uh, company that is going to compete against Tesla. I recall driving on the freeway seeing a Tesla um uh, and a, and a Lucid right next to each other in front of me. And if I had to compare without all of the news around each company, I really think that the aesthetics of the Lucid just looks way more advanced. Um, it can drive all the way up close to about 500 miles. Uh, the, the longevity of the car, I, I believe, uh, is just high quality, very comparable to Tesla, right? But just based on price point of $6.36, if I had to choose between tesla and lucid right now uh, i'm i'd consider you know investing in, in lucid and this is why i'm thinking about uh, uh putting a load into lucid just based on the price right now when we go on a max price at one point in 2021 it went all the way up to 52 dollars here you see the the coffee cup forming here and it, it jumped back up 55 dollars since 2021 of november it's been bleeding out right and what goes down will eventually go back up and that's just basically how you win in this market right i mean based on the 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 charts right now we're seeing a bullish pattern and i really believe that it will cross its 200 day moving average uh intersection point and uh don't sleep on this right because lucid is a company that will uh take advantage and once they're able to to meet its capacity for production it, it's going to you know uh, be able to lower its prices for its car right now as well so you got to think about that as well i believe that the market cap will double uh very soon with respect to the price going back up uh you know whether that's in q1 of 2023 q2 we don't know but right now it's definitely a great entry point from my perspective we can't really time the market right can it go down even further down to five dollar yes but with investing we, we can't really time the market, but just based on looking at this trajectory here, this is definitely a, a great buying opportunity. And that's why I'm considering getting into Lucid uh, uh, in the next week. So I hope that this video gave you insight on my analysis on these two companies. And if you're new to this channel and if you really enjoyed this video, I appreciate you hitting the like and subscribing. Thanks again for watching another episode here at All I See Is Debbie. Thank you, guys.